There are about 100 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy and there are the same amount of neurons inside your brain. Neurons are brain cells that receive electrochemical signals from the brain and nervous system. They're the units of communication that are linked to each other through thousands of connections called synapses. These connections ultimately create the entire network of your brain. All of your habits, your self-images, your paradigms and thought loops, they're neural networks inside your brain. There's the famous saying, neurons that fire together, wire together. The more you do something in a particular manner, the more you begin to associate that activity with who you are and the more automatic it becomes. Before the 20th century, it was thought that the early periods in your childhood development determined the majority of your brain's neural networks and that they stay relatively unchanged for the rest of your life. However, new research in neuroscience over the last few decades has shown that the human brain is actually very plastic and adaptable to change even in adulthood. This is called neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to restructure and replace many aspects of itself. Neuroplasticity is a crucial aspect of healthy brain development and maintenance. It's gonna improve your cognition and intelligence. It has longevity benefits and it protects against neurodegeneration. It will make you more adaptable to change and stressful situations. Improving neuroplasticity fundamentally starts with learning new things, gaining new skills and restructuring your neural networks. It's about creating different patterns into your brain so that you will become more flexible and more fluid. Neurons and brain cells are the components to synaptic connections and neuroplasticity. Previously, it was also thought that brain cells can't be regenerated and you will start to lose your cognition as a natural side effect of aging. Fortunately, neuroplasticity also showed that you can indeed grow new brain cells through the process called neurogenesis. Neurogenesis takes place in the hippocampus, which is the region of the brain that governs learning new things, storing long-term memories and experiencing emotions. If you want to have a healthy and sharp brain for the rest of your life, then you should do the following. Protect your currently existing brain cells. Expose yourself to neuroplasticity constantly. Facilitate the growth of new neurons and prevent your new brain cells from dying. What I'm gonna do now is go through these points and give you some activities that will allow you to become smarter, more creative and have a healthier brain. So how do you protect your brain cells? We've all heard that you can't regenerate your nerve cells, which turns out to be false. Nevertheless, this shouldn't mean that you're gonna burn through your already existing brain cells like it's Black Friday or something. The biggest thing that is killing your brain cells is too much stress. Not getting enough sleep. Sleep deprivation inhibits neurogenesis. Oxidated stress from the environment, food and other toxins. Too much physical stressors and lack of recovery. Emotional turmoil and psychological traumas cause a similar response in the body as physical stressors. To prevent your brain cells from dying, you have to take stress management seriously and you need to make it an active part of your routine. Here are some neuroprotective activities for your brain cells. Spend time in nature because it exposes your mitochondria to negative ions that recharge your cells. You want to limit your exposure to environmental toxins like air pollution, heavy metals, contaminated water, mold growing in your house and junk light. Alcohol, tobacco and drugs are toxic to the body and they definitely definitely kill off brain cells. Sugar can also decrease neurogenesis because of glucose metabolism. Flavanols and other antioxidants help to protect your brain and body from oxidative stress. Foods high in flavanols are colorful fruit, vegetables, particularly berries such as blueberries, cranberries and cherries, but also dark chocolate. Meditation improves your sleep and reduces anxiety. It's been also shown that mindfulness-based practices like meditation increase gray matter size in the the brain. You should be less busy as well because busyness is not the same as productivity. Being busy simply means that you're overwhelmed by the things you have to do. You're probably doing stuff that aren't important at all and you simply lack some perspective. Because once you get into the stress response then it's very difficult to get out of it. You get stuck in the cycle. If you want to know how to clearly define your goals, how to get more
done and remove the constant hassle from your life, then check out my Empowered Morning Routine video course. But let's carry on with facilitating neurogenesis. Let's start off with diet. What can you eat? You should get enough omega-3s. The Western diet is very omega-6 dominant, which promotes oxidation and inflammation. Adequate omega-3 fatty acid consumption has been shown to promote neurogenesis, improve symptoms of depression and mental health problems. DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid and the most crucial one for the brain. It improves cognition and can actually repair cognitive decline. So take your fish oil, eat wild salmon and seafood. Resveratrol is an antioxidant that's linked with longevity and anti-aging, but it's been found to have effects on neurogenesis as well. Turmeric is also great for neurogenesis. In fact, turmeric can help to regenerate a damaged brain and improve neurological disorders. Green tea has a compound EGCG that's linked to the growth of new brain cells. You should also try the ketogenic diet. Your brain actually thrives on ketones as they have neuroprotective benefits and the ketogenic diet is very good for your cognition. Ketones can provide up to 70% of the brain's energy demands after keto adaptation and they protect against oxidative stress. Caloric restriction and intermittent fasting turn out to be great not only for fat loss and longevity but also for neurogenesis. Decreasing your calories increases the neurogenic hormones inside the hippocampus and in rats, fasting has been shown to increase the proliferation of cells inside the hippocampus by 30%. I have a ton of videos about both the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting so you should definitely check them out because as it turns out more and more research are showing that these things are actually one of the most easiest and most effective things for your health and longevity. That's it, I'm getting out of here. Now, let's move away from nutrition and turn to the other neuroplasticity activities that will make you grow new brain cells. Having sex is amazing for triggering the production of endorphins. Endorphins are feel-good hormones that give us pleasure, improve our mood and attention. This has been also shown to increase neurogenesis. Exercising also unleashes a tidal wave of endorphins. It increases a protein called brain-derived neurotropic factor or BDNF, which stimulates the growth of new neurons and synapses. Exposure Exposure to natural sunlight will make your body produce vitamin D. Vitamin D is crucial for cardiovascular health and other metabolic processes. It also increases BDNF. Here's an incredible combination or a biohack. You should just go outside and exercise in an enriched environment with different stimuli, novel things, you know, things that grab your attention, the things that you haven't been exposed to before. Go ahead, go, go to the forest, go do some hiking, go take a crossfit class, some gymnastics, some yoga, some bouldering or whatever. It's gonna trigger neurogenesis and neuroplasticity at the same time. Learning new things and facing novel situations increases neuroplasticity because you're forced to consciously walk different pathways in your brain. This forces you to create new connections and in so doing, you grow new brain cells. Read a book. But what about some gadgets? Transcranial magnetic stimulation stimulates parts of the brain with a magnetic field generator, which has been shown to increase hippocampal neurogenesis in rats. Transcranial direct stimulation has been shown to increase homeostatic neuroplasticity with long-term effects. Keep looking shocked and move slowly towards the cake. But just growing new brain cells doesn't mean that you're gonna maintain them for the rest of your life. The main message is that you need to bring in some variety into your nutrition, your routines, your habits and your activities. Most importantly, you have to challenge yourself physically as well as mentally. Every day, so that you could keep yourself sharper, more alive, more adaptable and more readily available for change. There's the saying, what you don't use, you lose. And that definitely applies to your fitness, your mindset and brain cells. So, eat your chocolate, add some blueberries, some cranberries, maybe a sprinkle of cinnamon, some sour cream. Go do some bodyweight balancing exercises like handstands, tumbling through the air. And you know, handstands are amazing. You can, you know, they force you to not exercise but they also force you to work your mind. You have to focus like a Jedi at it. You know, I'm talking, I'm holding a handstand, I'm talking, I'm maintaining balance, I'm in my body, I'm in the present moment, I'm controlling my nervous system. <laughs> and I would say like this, this is an amazing way of 
of training your body and mind at the same time, which is the essence of body, mind, empowerment, what I'm trying to do, you know. Or don't eat anything for three days. And in the meantime, get the Body, Mind, Empowerment Handbook, free ebook, which will teach you about the fundamentals of health and performance. But other than that, click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. Thanks for watching, my name is Seem. Stay plastic, stay empowered.